Right now, I wanna go over the OV chip card, what it is, how it works, how to get one, and some important information that you need to know about the card. First, what is the OV chip card? It is a card used to pay for and ride public transportation in the Netherlands. If you're riding a bus, a train, a tram, or the metro, you need this card to get on and off of public transportation. Where do you get one of these cards? Well, if you arrive at the airport, you can get one at the airport. You can get one at main stations, or if you go to the website, you can type in your address and search for a location nearest you to buy one of these cards. They've got two types of cards. You've got the personal chip card and the anonymous chip card. The personal chip card is really designed for residents and you have to have a Dutch bank account to use that card. Really the benefit to that card is it makes it easier for residents. They don't have to continuously charge the card. Once it's linked to their bank account, they can basically ride the Metro using that card without charging the card constantly. As far as how they work and everything, they both work the same. So I'm really gonna focus on the anonymous chip card for visitors and tourists like myself. So now that you've got one of these cards, you either bought one at the airport when you arrived or you found a location near you, you've got the card. So there is a cost to the card. At the time of recording this video, it was less than 10 euros. I believe it was about seven, uh, 750 uh, for the chip card. So you've got the card. Now you have to actually charge it with some funds. You can charge it with funds at kiosks that are located all over the city. Now, it's important to know that not all of the kiosks will take any type of debit or credit card. In Amsterdam, they have these PIN cards that they have for residents, and those only work at certain locations. And some of these smaller suburb areas with these kiosks, they only take a local PIN card. And that's not just for public transportation, it's for businesses as well. So in some instances, it's hard to actually pay for things in Amsterdam and in the Netherlands if you don't have that PIN card. So what you'll need to do is be aware of that and make sure that when you're at a main station and a place to it that takes your foreign card, that you load up your card with enough money. And I say that because when riding the Metro, we had to have enough funds to get to the end of the line. At the time of recording this video, it was 20 euros. So really in a sense, we had to have a minimum balance of 20 euros on our chip card at any time to get us to the end of the line, plus the additional funds that we were riding for each stop that we were at. So how do you know how much money is on your card? Well, I'm glad you asked because again, you can go to the website and really right at the home page, you can type in your card number, you hit submit there, and then it will show you the balance of that card. So it's important to keep track of how much money is on your card at all times when you're getting on and off of your public transportation, just to be sure that you're not stranded out in a smaller town that doesn't have a kiosk where you can charge your card. So I'm not trying to scare you, but I just wanna make you aware of that little quirk there that you're not just gonna be able to load up this card anytime you want at any kiosk. So find that kiosk that's downtown or at a main station that takes your foreign card so you can always have a place that you know you can charge your card with funds. Now let's talk about how to use the card. So at every form of public transportation, they have these little pads that you just simply tap and hold for a second your chip card. At that point at the Metro, it opened the doors. If you're getting on a bus or a trolley, it didn't have doors that opened. It was actually once you got onto public transportation, you then scanned your card. Then once you leave public transportation, you need to scan the card again. At that point, you are then charged for the ride. So it's really actually pretty simple to actually use the chip cards for your public transportation. I would say the hardest thing about it is first getting one, so make sure you can get one, and then making sure that you can find a kiosk where you can charge and uh, keep funds on the card. So charging it is really simple as well. You go to one of the main kiosks, you scan your card, you then select how much money you want to add or charge to the card, and then you simply pay for it at that time. All the kiosks had secondary languages, so I could pick English on it, so it was really easy to use the kiosks, and there wasn't a huge barrier for that. So that was really easy once you find the kiosk that will take your card. So that's it, I hope you found this very helpful. If you do have any questions, I recommend going to the website. I'll link to that, put it up here, and make sure that you can find that website. Uh, it really does have a lot of resources there, so take some time, 
go through the website, see if it answers your questions. I'm sure it will. It's very, very well done, and the website answers pretty much every question that you could have about the card. So there you go. Have fun on your trip there in the Netherlands. I found public transportation to be very easy to use. Uh, it was clean, it was safe, and I really did enjoy how it all worked overall. Uh, I really enjoyed the public transportation. So there you go. Enjoy your trip. Uh, my name is Drew. I'll see you next time.